Welcome to Concept Control's YouTube channel. This video is going to cover the programming setup of a typical Ray mesh guard system and the Concept Control's wireless alarm bar. First, take note that the buttons on the keypad can mean multiple things. Sometimes it's a number key and sometimes it's a menu function. We'll start by pressing number 1 for menu from the home screen. MeshGuard has a two tier password. Enter in the first level password. By default, it is 1234. Press Enter to accept the password. Use the yellow up arrow on the side to highlight the communication setting icon and press Enter. It should by default be sitting on wireless modem. But navigate using the yellow arrow to highlight wireless modem if it doesn't appear that way and press Enter. This will bring up a second tier password. By default, this one is 123456 and press Enter. Use the red down arrow to highlight PAN ID and press Enter. Enter a unique PAN ID and press Enter. PAN ID is a unique network ID for your MeshGuard network. Basically, all of your detectors on the same PAN ID as the FMC will communicate with each other. Press the yellow up arrow to form network and then press Enter. This will take about 30 seconds to a minute. At any point, you can press the blue left arrow to return back to the home screen. To set and join the network, press and hold the M and the N button while the detector is turned on. This brings you into your settings screen, and it will flash with the name of the submenus. Press N for no until the screen flashes pan. Press Y for yes to enter into the pan menu. The first digit of the pan ID should be flashing. Press the plus and minus keys to add or subtract from the flashing number. The plus button is paired with the yes key and the minus is paired with the no key. Once you have the desired digit, press the M key to proceed to the next digit. After you finish with the third digit and when you press M, all the keys should stop blinking and you should see a question mark beside the PAN ID. Press Y for yes to accept the PAN ID. After the PAN ID has been accepted, the screen should start flashing John Net, which actually means join network. Press Y for yes to join the network. This will take about 30 seconds or so. Special note here, you need to watch this process through to make sure that the unit actually connects to the network. Sometimes this fails and you need to attempt this process multiple times. At the end, this will flash DN for done or NO for failed. It will only flash that answer for a couple seconds, that's why you need to watch it. In this case, it flashes DN and we should be good to go. To verify this, press M to return to the home screen and look in the top left hand corner of the screen. You should see a little antenna pop up and the detector should appear on the FMC screen. If your unit has been modified to accept the concept controls wireless alarm bar and you want to program specific detectors to set off different lights, press the menu button from the home screen. Enter in your first tier password. Again, the default is 1234 and press enter. Highlight and press enter on the general settings icon. Press the red down arrow and highlight relay settings and press enter. With the bar solid black, this means it is just highlighting the relay output. You do not have the relay selected for edit. 1L is the first light on the alarm bar, 2L is the second, 3L is the third, 4L is the last light. 5L isn't used for anything at this time. With the desired light highlighted, press enter to edit that relay. Use the yellow up arrow to select the num column and press enter. This brings up a list of the currently connected detectors. Press the red arrow down to select which detector you want assigned to the first light and press enter. Press the right green arrow three times to back out of all the edit menus and return to the relay selection. Press the red down arrow to move to the second relay, which is the second light on the alarm bar, and press enter again to edit that relay. Use the yellow or red arrows to navigate to the num column again and press enter. Again, use your yellow and red arrows to navigate to the detector you want to assign and press enter to assign it. Now you can press the green arrows to back out of all the menus or just hit the blue arrow to return back to the home screen. One special note I would like to make here is please do not assign one detector to all of the lights. The alarm bars were not designed to actually have all the beacons and horn going off all at the same time. It doesn't have the power output to actually keep up in that way. Next, we'll show you how to change the location names of the detectors. From the home screen, press the menu button. Enter in your first tier password, 
again it's one, two, three, four by default, and press enter. Highlight and press enter on the general settings icon. Scroll down and highlight wireless detector settings and press enter. From here you can hit enter while modem ID is highlighted and change the unit you have selected and press enter. Use the red arrow to scroll down to location and press enter. Use the letters on the number pad to state the location. Press enter to accept and the blue arrow to return back to the home screen. Lastly, we want to show you how to check and clear alarms. From the home screen, press the green check arrow button. Notice how it highlights the first alarm. Pressing enter will show you details about that alarm. Pressing the blue arrow from there will again just get you to return to the home screen. If you want to clear that alarm, press the green arrow again. Press the green arrow an additional two times to highlight alarms and press enter. Press the green arrow one more time and it will ask you for a tier one password, which is one, two, three, four, and press enter. Notice how the alarms is back to zero now. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and share the video. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and follow us on LinkedIn via the video description below. Want to be the first to know when a new video is released? Click subscribe and get notifications directly to your inbox. We're also available if you need more information. Visit www.conceptcontrols.com and give us a call today.